So once our tablet is connected to EasyCast, the second thing you go, you're going to launch an application which is called EasyCast. It can be downloaded from the Google Play Store easily. There's no problem with that way. So you start that application and you press this button right on the top here. It will be looking for EasyCast now. So you need to select the EasyCast from there. Okay, EasyCast just right there. You select it. What will happen? It will launches that application in front of your screen. And what you can do now, you, if you wanted to send any information to your television, you can use this application to do so. You can send any photo straight to your television. There's, there is a possibility now. You can do mirror cast as well. So you can access some settings in there. That's very important. So you press the setting because the way you wanted to configure your EasyCast is like uh, EasyCast, you want to easy use EasyCast, you want to mirror the screen and also you want to use the internet on your huddle as well on your tablet. Because at this stage, my device is connected to the EasyCast so I can't use internet. So I have to make, it, make, a, make a way around it to get it right. So you, what you're going to do, we're going to go into the settings. Once you go into the settings, you will see this action. So now your tablet act as a remote control and the screen you will be looking at would be something like that. Okay, let me zoom this out a bit. And carry in. Would be like this, as you can see that clearly now. There we go. So now what we need to do, we need to set the internet so we need to go and in the settings you will see all the th all everything which you need which you need for that application which you need for your television and everything resolution your screen resolution it can be set from there password for your wi-fi which is just next to it so it's i'll just scroll down so a screen resolution is just there next to it is the password which is your wi-fi password if you want you can change it whatever you like Next is the internet area. This is where you wanted to ask EasyCast that you can access my Wi-Fi for the connection. So you press OK in there. Okay, it's going to look for any Wi-Fi available. Obviously, your home internet Wi-Fi is there. So you can just press OK. Yeah, I want you to connect to it. So you just write down the password. Don't worry, I'm going to change it once I give it to you here. Once you enter the password and you can press the OK button just down there. So let it communicate with it. Once it's configured and the uh, internet is connected, you can see right on the top right corner, right there, it will show you that EasyCast is also connected to the internet. And as soon as you're connected to internet, it'll try to upgrade its firmwares as well. So it's going to check for the firmware upgrade. If the new firmware will come in, it will upgrade for that as well. So, <coughs> sorry, that thing is done. The second thing comes now in the list. Okay, let me go that. Okay. As you can see, the second thing comes. We, we already set the internet now. Now it's a language. Language is set to auto. You can set different, different languages. No problem with that. Now, there's two actions you can perform by using this EasyCast. One is, uh, one minute, let me set the zoom right. One is uh, EasyCast, that means you can uh, play different, different things from your, uh, from, your, uh, from your tablet straight on it without using internet, all these things. Uh, second is a MirrorCast. MirrorCast means you can use the same, same device, same easy, same, same, wireless wireless display device this is what you call it easy cast you can use as a mirror cast as well so it will mirror the image of your tablet of your windows pc or your mac you can you can set it up how you want it now second thing after that is called is called connection how do you want the mirror cast to be connected do you want it connect directly link only or do you want it by using a rule or using wire router. Using wire router is sometimes very difficult and it's, uh, it's like a bit of a extra, extra sort of loop for them. So direct will do the job for you guys. 
So I always set it to direct. So once you're done there, you can press the escape from the exactly from the escape from the, your tablet actually. Okay, you are back into the home screen. Now your EasyCast is completely configured to use. So what we're gonna do now? Well, uh, I'll show you a couple of uh, the, um, what I'm running at the moment. I'll show you down here first. There we go. This is what I'm running. So now I'm back on the home screen. Let me zoom in out. Okay. Now you can do different different things if you like to. You know, there's no problem with that because you now you are connected to the internet as well. So now EasyCast is connected to internet. So if I wanted to do something, something like. Uh, if I wanted to watch some videos, let's press the video thing and let's see what happens. So it will go through your tablet and look for any video in down here. You want to see online videos. Okay, you see cloud storage, cloud videos. Cloud videos is it's got its own application where you find out what you want, which application you wanted to play. You can have live YouTube and all these channels. Everything, <coughs> sorry, just right there. So you just need to press that. Let's see Sky Sports. What the what is inside the Sky Sports? Well, it's just an online checkup thing. You know, that's nothing else. Nothing so special about it. So next thing I want you to do, actually, I want you to install this Mirror Mirrorcast. So Easy Mirror is an app app we want you to run. So you press this Easy Mirror button. It come up with that screen. You turn it on. When you turn it on, okay. It will ask you to connect straight to your EasyCast device, which is this one again. So you press that thing. Okay. You forget the password because you already connected to it. So. Okay, one minute. EasyCast. Here we go. We are straight away connected by using our, here you go, now it's all mirrored up. Because this application is already always available. So where you can access this information is, you go to all application in your tablet. You can scroll down to the settings. Okay. All right, in the setting, you need to go to the display. In the display, in the bottom right down there, you will see a cast screen. So when you install the application of EasyCast from your Google Store, it will automatically install that application too in it. So it's, all, it's already configured your device as a mirror option now. So it's connected. Now, whatever you will see down here on the tablet is exactly casting on the screen. There you go. It's all mirror. It's exactly mirror. And you can do whatever you want, it's exactly like that, same thing. Quality <coughs> is okay, it's average. I tried to play a video game as well, which I can show you a little bit, but it's not that good. So let's play some video game. And you can set up the screen resolution, and because as you can see that the screen is cropping out, it's getting out of it, you can adjust it all by using easy app thing, by, by using this easy application. Okay, so let me s start a game for you because I wanted to show you how the game looks like. I'm going to install, uh, I'm going to start a very heavy game which is Asphalt, Asphalt 8. Okay, so let's play. I'm just going to play a straight, a straight game, so it's just a standard game. <coughs> Actually, I'm running this, you can see on my tablet, and it's also a mirror cast, exactly mirror cast. So... There we go, let's start. Quality isn't that great, you know, because obviously it all depends upon your internet connection too. And the sound has also been transferred to HDMI. Oh, I'm not a good driver, being honest with you. I mean, the graphic is not very good at all. So, 
But if I look at my tablet graphics, it's pretty good. You can see that. There you go. So by using that, you can play all the videos and music and everything from the from the YouTube. As you can see, I've got different different apps on my on my huddle installed, so I can play different different movies right there in front here. So let's play this one, which is Twenty Two Jump Street. Watch this one. Let's get this ad. Watch it here. <coughs> no, I just want you to use the internal video player because. There you go. So we just have to start it. There you go. It's exactly what you see. Video quality is okay when you're playing a proper, uh, proper movie. Actually, it's, it's a 1080p. No, it's nice. Now let's play the there you go. Wait. So here we go. I just uh, <coughs> stopped it now. So it's pretty easy and pretty all understandable. If you got any more questions about it, if you want to understand, know something more about it, please let me know. You know, I'll be happy to answer your all questions. Thank you very much for watching this video.